back with another video. And this time we're doing dating advice. Now this brother is talking about, is it morally wrong to approach women when you are fat? He's a 21 male, five foot, 29 male, five foot 10 and around 250 pounds. So roughly around 125 kg. I have never once my whole life asked out or approached a girl. I have wanted to. I feel like it would be mean, a mean and cruel thing to do to someone. I can only imagine that they would feel sickened or ashamed of themselves if I did it. If I know I will hurt someone emotionally by approaching, is it even morally right to do? All right, there's so much to unpack here and it's such a short little um, paragraph of a, of a request, but <clears throat> you have severe like insecurity on yourself, which is like, it is what it is. It's not fine, but it is what it is. But if you are in this situation, right, this is my advice, if you are in a situation and you think you're so disgusting, start losing weight, right? Just start doing that. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you're like, okay, I'm good with myself. But the process of starting to lose weight itself is enough to be like, all right, you know, you know what? I was going through a bit of a phase where I was pigging out, I had a bit of self-hate, I didn't like myself. Um, and I was eating so much, but now I've realized, so I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna get back into a fantastic shape. That little mental switch alone is enough to be like, okay, in a few months time, in a year's time, I will be back to a good normal size and I'm working on myself, I feel good about myself. And so I can still go out with the charisma, with the um, with the charm of knowing that like I am actually gonna get better. So it's not it's not a big deal that I'm fat right now because in a, in a year from now, I'm gonna be fine and they're gonna be like in a good situation by being with me kind of thing, right? That being said though, <clears throat> so so that's one piece of advice, do that, that'd be fantastic, get yourself into good shape. That being said though, you got yourself into this situation because you have um, been hating yourself in some kind of aspect, that's why you've ballooned up to this kind of weight, right? You wouldn't do this if you loved yourself. Think about if you loved yourself, would you be eating like shit all the time? Would you be eating donuts all the time? Or would you rather eat the chicken breast, the rice, the broccoli, the healthy meals, the cooking with olive oil, the cooking with like um, lean meats, um, low carbs, high high veg and fruit, and etc. right? More of the time when you are like binge eating or feeling like shit and then eating some crap food, it's because you hate yourself in some aspect or some aspect of your life. So it's worth addressing that to understand that this is why you're doing it. Because if you don't understand why you're doing it, you just keep repeating the cycle, right? Now that I've told you, you can start eating the right things and start treating your body in a way where you actually like give yourself some respect. Like think, think about if you were your own child, right? Would you feed your child uh, ice cream every single day? Or would you feed your child uh, banana, apples, grapes, uh, chicken breast, um, small bit of rice here and there, some avocado? You would want your child to be in the most utmost health healthy position. How would you do that? By feeding them single food ingredients to, so that they get the most nutrition out of their food. So you're talking about vegetables, uh, fruits, and meat, basically. I personally, then about you, I wouldn't be giving my child a chocolate bar or like, a, like an infant, a chocolate bar or a big ice cream or a chocolate cake or like um, destructive food, lots of processed food, because you know this, this shit, all this food is just shit, right? It's like built with chemicals, right? Now, that being said, <clears throat> think of yourself as that child. So if you're not gonna do that for your own child, why would you do it to yourself? Because that's what you're doing, you're literally poisoning your body by giving yourself all this like processed, shitty food, that pump full of chemicals and sugar. Right, so what you wanna do is think about it in that aspect, but for yourself. So start treating yourself like a fucking baby. Start giving yourself the avocados, the fruits, the vegetables, the lean meats, the small bit of carbs if you need them, um, in, in case you don't wanna go full keto. And eventually you'll lose weight that way. Now, having that shift, thinking of in, in this way, right? Think about how much self-love you need for you to be able to do that. You need to be like, I love myself so much, I value myself, I'm, I'm, I'm important, I'm an asset to the world. So of course I'm gonna give myself the best food possible. Of course I'm gonna exercise my body so that my mind and my body operate in a fantastic way as possible, right? That's where you wanna to get to. Right now you're probably not exercising, you're probably eating like shit. And you're doing this through self-hate. It's unknown to you right now, but it is through self-hate. And there's a quote that I live my life by, which is self-discipline, is the highest form of self-love.
So when you're doing the disciplined things, the activities, right, that are disciplined, you're doing it because you love yourself, because you're going to get that um, gratification. It's going to be later. It's going to be delayed gratification. Whereas when you do all these instant gratification stuff, like eating the chocolate cake, like playing the video, video games, like watching the TV rather than exercising, you're going to feel like shit more the time, like afterwards. You're going to watch the TV and be like, okay, great. Stuff in your face with pizza. And afterwards you're like, oh, I feel like such a piece of shit. I've just, but I've just inhaled like uh, 3000 calories in the last hour. And I've already had breakfast this morning. I'm still gonna have cake later on, etc. right? You, then you're gonna feel like shit afterwards, right? But imagine waking up, you have a very healthy breakfast or you intermittent fast till like 12. Then you have like a bit of fruit Then you have some vegetables Then you have some lean meats. And then you have a little bit of dinner later, which is like still within around 2000 calorie range, but it's all nutritionally um, healthy food, right? At the end of the day, it, like after each meal, you will be like, okay, that was a great meal. I feel good. I don't feel sluggish right now. I don't feel like sleeping on the couch right after this heavy meal. And you want to do more stuff. You, your brain feels more productive. Same thing at the end of the day when you're about to go lie down to sleep. You add them, like when you close your eyes to rest, some days when like I have that feeling where I've, I've done everything I need to do. I've done my work. I've done exercise. I've eaten everything I need to eat. I've gone to sleep on time. I've read my book. I've done my videos. I've done X, Y, and Z for everything, right? I close my eyes and just like, ugh, give myself a little pat on the back while I'm lying in bed. I'm just like, yes. I did everything I need to do today. I'm proud of myself. I love myself because of this. And I'm helping my future self get a better existence rather than if I ha ate Domino's that day and then I didn't exercise that day and then I didn't work on the videos. I didn't like put anything, any content out. I would feel like, what am I done today? I've done nothing. Like I've literally just wasted my entire day. That's where you're probably living in like the type of existence you're living in now. And that's why you feel like shit about yourself. You said um, it is cruel thing to do to someone by having them uh, having you approach them because you're just a big fat fuck right <laughs> so in unfortunately i i went well not unfortunately i needed to go deep on this video so that you understand it's not that you just you're fat it's that the whole outlook on life is is messed up when you start treating yourself with self-love and you start treating um everything you do as an exercise of discipline and self-love you're gonna get the results. You're gonna get better with women. You're gonna get better health. You're gonna get uh, more self-esteem. You're gonna have more charisma. You're gonna have more charm about you. You're not gonna think that you introducing yourself to someone is a cruel thing. Like, are you like a rabid dog that you're just gonna go there and like chew part of their arm off? No, you're human. You want love, right? They want love too, but uh, you wanna go there with like your best self. And you can only do that by doing the behind the scenes activities on a daily basis to feel good about yourself so that when you're in a situation where you are about to approach a pretty girl, then you can just be like, okay, of course, I've, in the back of my mind, I've got everything going for me. Yeah, I'm a fat fat right now, but I'm working to reduce my fatness. I'm working to improve my fitness, improve my business, improve my health, improve my social skills, etc. Why wouldn't want someone wanna get introduced to me? Why wouldn't I go and introduce myself to someone? Because I know that I'm gonna be only a benefit to their life. I'm only gonna be adding value to their life. That's where you wanna get to. If you're not in that position right now, it's because you're not doing enough outside of the dating world to feel good about yourself, to up your existence, like the quality of your existence. And that, that's some good advice. That is some real good advice. So that being said, that is my advice for today. I hope you make yourself proud. And remember, self-discipline is the highest form of self-love. So go ahead, do these things in the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. And matter of fact, before you go, Check out the rest of my channel. There's more content on what you can actually say, what you can actually do when you are approaching. So that'll be helpful too. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.